Hey there, folks. Paul Markle from Student of the Gun here. And recently I was having a conversation with my buddy Bill Frady on his radio show, uh, coincidentally enough. And we were talking about bags and go bags or turnout bags or whatever you want to call it. Like these, these sling bags, you know, and he said, what should you have in a sling bag? Well, it really wasn't that difficult of a question for me because student of the gun, what do we recommend? We recommend the fundamental four, lethal, sharp, bright, and medical, right? You should never leave your house unless those things are on you. I have those things on me right now in my shorts, right? I've got shorts on, I've got lethal, sharp, bright, medical on my body. How about when you're lounging around the house? A good friend of mine who is a United States Army Special Forces veteran knows a lot about what it takes to defeat bad guys, shall we say. Uh, he called me up and he's like, bro, you're not going to believe what happened to me. I'm like, tell me. He said, we're late for school. He said, trying to get the kid to school. And like, come on, we're running late. We're running late. He goes, as you know, per usual, he goes, and we're in Texas. So it's hot. You know, it's May, April, May, whatever it was. It's hot. He goes, I'm in shirt, uh, shorts, T-shirt, flip-flops. We got to get to school. We got to get the kids to school, right? He said, so what do I do? Grab my keys, run out the door. I said, oh, really? What happened? He's like, all right. He said, we're almost to school. We get to an intersection. Traffic is stopped. And some guy, two cars in front of us, is out of the car and he's yelling. And he's, I'm like, what the heck, man? We're just trying to get to school here. He said, so I get out to go and see what's going on. This guy's like having an emotional breakdown, reaches in his car, pulls out a knife, and he's like, dabba, 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 dabba. and I was like, oh, and he said, yeah, I'm in shorts, t-shirt, and flip-flops, and nothing else. Well, the story turned out okay. My buddy was able to de-escalate, get back. His wife saw what was going on. They called the police. They drove around, blah, blah, blah. Police came. My buddy didn't get stabbed. Nobody else got stabbed, but it was a lesson. I said, dude, he said, I know. He goes, but I was in a hurry. And I said, I got you. I got you. And I, I was thinking about this. This is several years ago. And, you know, I've been in that hurry. Well, uh, we actually live up here in the mountains and we have hot springs in the mountains. And when you go to the hot springs, if you go in the summertime, you go in your bathing suit, your t-shirt, your flip-flops. If you go in the wintertime, you put all those things on, but you also put insulated coveralls on, on top of it. And then you go and you get to the hot springs and you take the insulated coveralls off and you jump in the hot springs in your suit. So this bag, I actually used to call this my hot springs bag because if I was just in, you know, swim shirt, a swimsuit, t-shirt, flip flops, whatever, I've got all those things in here, right? So the late for school bag, the bag, Think, think of yourself as the minute man. This is hanging on a hook and you're running out of the house. You grab your keys, you grab this and you have, you're covered, man. You're covered for medical emergencies. You're covered for lethal emergencies. Uh, you're covered for in the dark emergencies, whatever. So back pocket, super easy. I've got a Canik TP9 and yes, I prepped this for the video. So uh, I'm not pointing a loaded gun in the direction of my cameraman, uh, but this is the TP9. It's about the same size as a Glock 19. So I got my lethal cover. All right, lethal bright. So sharp or lethal sharp, bright, whatever. I got a flashlight in here. It doesn't need to be compact, super small. So it's a good size, good size flashlight right there. This one's from Terralux. There you go. Sharp. Over here in the side pouch, got a cold steel AK-47 knife. Uh, this one I've had for a lot, a lot, a lot of years. This was the very first year these came out, I got one, and uh, it is a rhinoceros tough knife, and it's sharp as all get out. So there you go. Lethal, bright, sharp, lethal, sharp, bright, all right, and medical, right? So of course, as you guys know, student of the gun, we've been promoting the Pocket Lifesaver kits for 10 plus years now. So the Pocket Lifesaver Enhanced Kit, because this is a bag, I don't need to go super compact. And because it is a bag, I can also put one of these in here and also stash a rat's tourniquet 
and one of the little sleevey sleeves, the little ready man sleeves right there. I can stash that right there. So I got two tourniquets plus the gauze, plus everything I would need for a major medical emergency. Now, if you are really gonna get froggy uh, and you wanted to, to stock this bad boy up, what you could do is put the, the fundamental four in there and then you could add some stuff. Now, as you see this bag here, uh, I don't even, this bag is a US Peacekeeper's bag, I think. Oh, and by the way, there's a an actual rigid holster in here. I'm not just sticking the gun loose in the bag. So, and, and it came with Velcro, cool patch, bro. So on the outside, you got M16 magazines. So what can I stick in an M16 magazine besides an M16 mag? I can stick this bear spray or what we call go fornicate yourself spray. I can put that right there. So I have a serious, no kidding, less than lethal option for not one, but yeah, if you ever pulled up to an intersection and a bunch of uh, colossal douchebags came out and they're like, burp, 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 and we're going to beat on your car, roll the window down five inches and tell them to fornicate into a different direction. And they will. You may or may not want the bear spray. You're like, oh, I don't need that. Or it's too big or cumbersome. Okay, cool. If you want to put a small pepper spray in there, it doesn't matter. Uh, the, the idea is that just because you're running out of the door real quick to go do whatever, I'm going to run my kids to school. I'm going to go to the hot springs or you know, I'm just gonna, I need to go to the store and get three things, and that's it. I'm not gonna go back to my room and, you know, put all my stuff on just to run to the store. Brothers and sisters, if you're gonna be ready, if you're gonna have the mindset, the preparedness mindset, you need to be prepared all the time. You know, when are you gonna need it? Well, if I told you, hey, are you, you're gonna go there and you're gonna need a gun, you probably shouldn't go there. If I said, you're gonna go in that building and someone's gonna get hurt, you're gonna get hurt, your kids are gonna get hurt, you probably say, I'm not gonna go in that building. The point is, you don't know. So, whether you're fully dressed like I am right now, I got all this stuff on me, or whether you're shorts, t-shirt, flip-flops, bathing suit, whatever, and you gotta just run out, uh, this is a, you know, a good idea or a good alternative to have the fundamental four. There you go. Paul Markle was student of the gun. Remember, you're a beginner once, student for life. <laughs>